what you mean. Breaking through glass cages inside of me. Surfing and swimming in a never ending sea. Awesome. Finding missing puzzles to keep. Crack the cracker for everyone to sleep. Illusions walking and living like zombies. Allowing people to play with my mind like chess piece. Stole the key to my psyche. Now for years I just wanna hide me. Deflowered and free. Initiations with time and my Hello, hello, it's your girl here in Lemon, back with another reading on Lemon Innocent. Thank you so much for tuning in. This reading is gonna be for Venus in Pisces transiting the sixth house or Libra rising. Um, this video is for anywhere you have Libra in your chart as well. You can also take a look at all the other videos for this transit to see how it's going to affect other areas of your chart. This is a general spread, so personal readings are available. You can find them in the description box below on my link tree. You can contact me through email, Instagram, direct message, or you can book directly on the Square Reader application. All right. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment below if the, visi if the visi video, video, which is a TV, funny. If the video <laughs> had resonated for you in how, okay? Thank you so much for being active on my channel with me. I definitely appreciate it, okay? So let's get into this reading. Um, Sixth house, Venus and Pisces transiting. This is a good time for you to escape into beautifying your day to day. Um, you may start to feel more hopeful about your job, about the um, financial stability that you're creating for yourself. Um, you also want to balance this, you know, extreme optimism with grounding through exercise, um, establishing a good beauty routine or changing that routine to fit where you are now. Um, definitely seeing this as you being able to pay off some debt, um, being a rich bitch or hood rich um, <laughs> during this transit. Um, that high, raising your vibration on your financial success will help you to establish financial stability in the future. Um, and you may need to rest more or sleep more, or you may be more prone to escapism in your day to day, which is, you know, it happens. Um, just keep your balance. Okay, just keep balance. All right. So, um, what messages do we have for Venus and Pisces transiting the sixth house? What information do we have for Venus transiting? You may want to um, take out time to draw, paint, um, or if you're a writer, write. Um, make time to create things that help you express how you connect to the divine, how you connect to source. Um, music too. Pisces is also music. Um, you may want to listen to music more often. Pay attention to the music you are being drawn to play. Or that may be playing in your head, um, which can also sometimes be a signal from your guides um, trying to talk to you as well. Okay, what other messages do we have for Venus and Pisces transiting the sixth house? Okay, so I'm using the African Goddess Oracle. African Goddess Rising Oracle. Geesh, I keep missing out on the rising part. And um, the after tarot, and those are in the in the description as well. So, first card out we have scarcity. Okay, shadow, work. We have manifestation. Okay, sacral work, and ooh, we have Oshun, fearless love. Okay, okay, and then we got self sabotage at the bottom. Okay, Mam Lambo, Mam Lambo, Shadow. Okay, so overall energy is about self sabotage. Okay, well, don't sabotage your job, don't sabotage your money, don't sabotage your relationships. Just because you see imperfections 
that you can't ignore. Like, you gotta allow things to just be. And Pisces is here opposing sixth house energy, which is Virgo energy. But in this opposition, with Venus and being in Pisces and it being a sixth house, um, you get to figure out how to balance that out. Work it out. I need you to work it out, okay? Don't give up and release things just because they're not perfect. Which makes sense why the scarcity card is here. You may feel like something or somebody is lacking major, like super major lacking in certain areas you want them or feel like they should be more advanced in. But remember, we got self-sabotage at the bottom. Don't sabotage a good thing just because you feel like there's not enough or there should be more of something. It is more of something. And you're able to manifest that with the fearless love. Like, don't give up on something good and sabotage yourself because you don't have all the details or it doesn't look shiny or pretty to you yet. Um, Cause you have, like I said, you have the ability to envision financial stability and then it literally walks in your door. Don't sabotage it because you think it's not good enough when really it's, I mean, it's all shoon. Like it's everything that makes life beautiful. Don't sabotage this, okay? Don't sabotage this. The scarcity mentality has to go. Like you literally need to stop being in the mindset that it's not enough. Not enough money. Not enough time. Not enough whatever. It's more than enough. It's always more than enough. Okay? It's always more than enough. And you get to manifest that if you want. You can manifest more than enough money, more than enough time, more than enough clothes, more than enough shoes. And it may not just be for you. You may be trying to manifest for your family. Okay? But that fearless love energy is going to help you pull through. You just got to allow it to come. Allow yourself to understand that everything good and great does have the ability to flow to you when you believe that it's possible. Pisces is about what you believe and what you use. Your imagination is how you connect to the divine. So if you're always imagining the worst case scenario, that's what you're going to manifest. And then you got to love yourself out the situation. Why not just do that from the beginning? Why not just love yourself through your transition from lack mentality to abundant mentality so you can continue to manifest prosperity and abundance and also get that juicy, creamy love that you always wanted. Okay, so let's look at the scarcity. Strength. <laughs> the Leo card, okay? You don't have you don't think you have the, the enough strength or enough power or enough energy to handle or deal with the situation but we got fearless love like in manifestation like come on now you're sabotaging a situation maybe somebody trying to force you into a scarcity man, uh, mentality where they feel like you can't have it all you can't do all of this and it may be a Leo that's the one that's telling you you can't do this, this, that, and the third. You can do whatever you want. Okay? Don't let someone else snake-like mentality, you know, come in, infiltrate your ability to manifest your life the way you want it to be. The way you want it to be, not what they want it to be. They want you to believe that it's not enough or you're not enough. Or you can't have everything that you want. There's someone that may be trying to opposite, flip it, come into your life and show you that it's more to life than you know. There's more, there's more than enough, okay? It's more than enough. You have more than enough power, more than enough strength, more than enough ability to attract what it is that you want if you're open to accept it more. And that Leo could be me right now. Hi, how are you? I'm a Leo, okay? It could be me. I don't know. It could be somebody else in your life with some Leo energy and a sun rising or just the 
per they're just personifying that energy or this could be you you may be trying to get to ex find the strength <laughs> the god strength to explain to somebody like you can do whatever you want there is no limitation on what you can create in your life and maybe you've already been through situations where you've completely sabotaged a good experience based off you believing that you can't do it or it's not enough time or it's not enough you know you don't have enough space you don't have the things that you want or you need right now so you gotta wait and hold off like no you can't do that if you put off the things that you really want to do because you're lacking you feel like you're lacking the ability to get it done that's you're going to continue to manifest more lack so abundance prosperity hello Oshun. And then, I, okay, Prince, what's her name? Maja, Maj, Mo, Mo, Maj, Jaji, Mojaji, Mojaji, and Sukoyant, 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 Majaji, Oshun, Mam, Mam Lambo, I think. I'm, I'm a practice, I'm practicing, okay? But let's look at this manifestation. What do we need to focus on manifesting? A night, a, a situation involving some stable money. Eleven oh one. Look at that. Look at God. Look at God. Look at God. Make it rain. Okay. She making it rain. Eleven eleven. Make it rain. What you making it rain? Money. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stay with me now. Stay with me now. Okay. There's some, even in relationships. Okay, even when it comes to relationships, you do not have to limit yourself in a relationship. You can do whatever you want to do. Having respect, having boundaries, having understanding, communication, all those things are important and are required in any and every kind of relationship, especially when it has to do with you manifesting money or having a business partner that you're manifesting money with. So somebody could be coming through helping you manifest the lifestyle that you want to have that may be very different than the one you're living right now do not sabotage this business opportunity because it may take you a while and it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of effort but you're ready the nine of pentacles is ready he might be the slowest one on the deck but he's ready he's ready he's take. he had to take his time to get ready it's not a page you know it's not a page it's a night so the situation is promising the situation is starting to rain down the manifestation is starting to come now Oshun, fearless love Oshun. Look. nine swords death at the bottom whatever this situation was that has you feeling like you're not enough you're not good enough or you don't make enough you don't have enough money whatever situation had you feeling like there's something missing or lacking in you or your life period whatever that was or whoever that person is that's in your subconscious still rolling around telling you without even physically being there pisces energy does that they're not even there but they're still there okay do not allow someone from your distant past who told you that you would never be anything or you couldn't be great or you don't have the means to perform and create something beautiful don't let that person and the energy that they broke off into you while wow, through either through sex or through you know physical contact hand changes whatever don't let that person's energy and their mentality about what they truly felt about themselves rub off on you and you ruin all of this goodness that you have right now it's time for you to completely cut anything and everything anybody off that makes you believe or they try to push the belief system that you're lacking or you're missing something you ain't missing nothing you're never missing anything and maybe you have to share this with someone else maybe you have to tell them they're not missing out on nothing they ain't missing nothing 
They're not missing out on anything happening between you and them or whatever they got going on building in their life. You're not missing out on shit. Other than if you don't focus and be in the present moment, you're going to miss this opportunity to manifest, I, I was about to say billions. With Oshun Fearless Love, you got the Nine of Swords. Like you're ready to get rid of whatever this little situation was. And this is a Gemini card, so it has a lot to do with how you think, how you process information. It has to be completely turned around now. You can't probably you can't think about creating a new situation and all you going over is all the ways it can go wrong. No. No. Focus on all the ways it can go right, how you can flourish, what, what you can do with this idea or this relationship that will bring you an abundance of fearless love for yourself from the divine because you listen to source, not someone who didn't want to see you doing better than them. Okay, so be on the lookout for fake friends. Be on the lookout for fake people during this venus and pisces transiting your sixth house be on the lookout for fake shit okay be on the lookout for fake shit because when the good shit comes you'll know it, it's gonna open you up to hope to wishes being fulfilled to you your dreams actually being able to be physically manifested with this nine of pentacles earth energy grounding you are getting opportunities to ground your dreams into reality. Just let go of any situation that made you feel like you you didn't deserve it because you do. You really, really do. You don't have to have a, a million dollars to receive love, attention, affection, respect, adoration, freedom. You don't need that. All you need to do is check in with Source. Source is never going to sabotage you. You sabotage you when you don't listen to Source. You sabotage you when you don't follow your first mind. You sabotage you where you have the ability to transform yourself out of the situation that you've been in and you choose not to out of pride. Don't let your pride get in the way. All right your energy reading libra thank you so much for tuning into this message i hope it finds you well and until next time peace